live from the local station. News 4 Jax starts now. We have breaking news we continue to follow in Jacksonville's Oceanway neighborhood on the north side. Five teens in the car hit by gunfire. One of them is dead. The other four were rushed to the hospital. This is video of the scene from Sky 4. The shooting was about a mile from First Coast High School. And we've learned that a student was arrested at First Coast High for having a loaded gun on school property today. It's unclear if that's related to the shooting, though. This afternoon, News 4 Jax was the first local station to send out a push alert to your mobile devices. News 4 Jax reporter Ann Maxwell is at First Coast to bring us a live update from there. But we begin with Renee Beninati, who's at the scene where the victims were found and where investigators are trying to gather information on a possible suspect. Renee. Mary, we just learned from police that the shooting actually happened about a mile away from here at near the Publix, but JSO says the car that was involved eventually was found on this street where you can see investigators are out here still combing for evidence. We saw detectives putting down crime scene markers in the middle of this street here. Within the past few minutes, another crime scene unit arrived to the scene, but uh, about 10 minutes ago, we did see what appeared to be possibly family members or people who knew the victims gathered here at the scene before it started pouring down and then the scene cleared a little bit ago. I did see one man crying and hugging another person, uh, but JSO says around 2.20 this afternoon, they got calls about shots fired on the near road, which is just about a block down this street. Investigators say when they got here, they found six people inside this car riddled with bullets captured by Sky 4. The sheriff's office says there were four young men and two young women inside, ranging between 17 and 18 years old. We were told one of the victims died and four others were taken to the hospital with gunshot wounds. The sheriff's office says their violent crimes and gangs unit are all working on this shooting investigation. Now, this all happened, as you said, about a mile away from First Coast High School, but police would not confirm whether the victims also went to school there. Now, we did ask about the suspects, but at this point, all police could say is that they believe they were in a silver car. They're asking that if you have any information about the shooting to call JSO or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live, Renee Beninati, Channel 4, the local station. Renee, thank you. News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell is outside of First Coast. And we just learned there will be more security to school tomorrow. Have you been able to find out anything more about that? Well, Tom, the shooting today happened just about a block away. Law enforcement just cleared out here a few minutes ago. We also learned that a loaded gun was confiscated from a student here at First Coast High School just before dismissal this afternoon. Uh, it's not clear if that's related to the shooting that happened down there uh, just a little bit after that. But the principal says other students tipped them off about the gun. Um, law enforcement's investigating and they have taken that student into custody. They're also enhancing security, as you mentioned, in light of recent violence around Around here. Just last week on Duval Station Road near First Coast High School, someone shot at a sedan in a parking lot with four people inside. A 16 year old was hit, and police told us at the time that 16 year old was expected to survive. Police detained several people for questioning, including that victim. It's not clear if any of these incidents in this past week near First Coast High School are related, but investigators are continuing to look into this tonight. Live in Jacksonville and Maxwell, Channel 4 the local station.